Good afternoon, everyone. How are you all doing? January 20, January 15th, 2023. Let's begin uh, the worship time. Let's begin our worship with a prayer. I will raise my eyes to the mountains. From where will my help come? My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Amen. Hallelujah, beloved Heavenly Father. On this day, your day, we thank you that you can, we can the true God, we can worship true God with our brothers and sisters. We started this new year with your grace and unchanging love. And as we expect your new grace and new blessing, we want to give you worship. The one who created everything, the, crea the creator of heaven and earth, is our Father. We are thankful that we have a wonderful Father like you. So no matter what happens, that we have your strong hand, protection of your hand. And thank th we are thankful that you can always guide us as we worship. Uh, as we worship you today, I pray that heaven will open and you will strengthen us with your new strength so we can live in this world with a victory in Jesus Christ. May glory be on you and we will res we'll be filled with your new grace through this time. We give you thanks and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. If you can, please join us in worship. Yeah. 
Dear God, we thank you for giving us this time to praise you with our brothers and sisters. We pray for the blessing for the pe people who are not here today, who cannot be here today, that you bless them wherever they are. Your word is true, and I pray that you will feel pastorly with your spirit and prepare our heart as we listen to your word. Our sins are forgiven because of uh, the blood Jesus shed. And now we thank, we're thankful that you gave us eternal life. Thank you for loving sinful ones like us and giving us all our needs every day. Please sanctify us from bad thoughts and fill us, fill, fill us with the Spirit um, so we can obey you every day. We pray for the situation in California with the flood, the, the their, their, their lives will be restored soon. I pray for the comfort and healing on those suffered and lost their loved ones. Pray for the protection of those who are in the rescue. Please give them the peace in their heart. And even through this uh, uh, bad situation, you may your glory be shown. As we go back to our place, I pray that you will use us as your witness, uh, witness of your grace in where where we are we thank you and pray in these play these things in Jesus' name amen thank you Today, let's uh, welcome each other. Yeah. 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 And, and welcoming those who are here. For uh, you cannot be here for various reasons, but worshiping together through internet. We have. have People who have birthday this week on 17th, 17th Hikaru will be having birthday on 17th and on 19th Taku will have a birthday on 19th. So, yeah, my birthday will be next week, but I won't be here, so I'll be here. <laughs> Mine's the next week, so. That's good. My mind is good. I should have this.
So let's uh, bless them uh, for the birthdays. Let's sing song for them. through this church's ministry. Keep praying for God's anointing for us. Keep praying for those who are sick. And may the God Almighty will bring healing to them. Mike uh, had a successful surgery. surgery. Uh, and keep praying. Uh, as uh, they keep fighting with the cancer. God will heal them, uh, heal him quick, uh, completely. Keep praying for Earl and others who are suffering with um, the back, he and knee. Uh, Bill Yoshi and Mineko keep praying for them. And also pray for those who are um, having a mental pain. And, Problems. I pray that uh, uh, as we pray, God will bring uh, miracles and the healing will be on them. Keep praying for those who are not believing in Jesus, uh, your family member, neighbors and relatives and friends. And pray, for, pray especially for the missionaries who serve in Japan and our brothers and sisters over there. And Joan and Haruko is wanting to build a new church. I pray for the um, uh, for their ministry. And Samson and Nicole uh, ministering in Hokkaido area. Pray that uh, God will strengthen them and that they can preach the gospel more. And Yumiko is uh, work teaching and pre preaching the gospel in the mission school. Keep praying for me, Yuriko's, uh, Yumiko's ministry and keep praying for the missionaries in the U.S. and Ukraine. Wednesday Bible study is, uh, we meet at 10.30, and also in 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. we have a Zoom Bible study. If you can find your time and join us. And <coughs> also we do have an intercessory prayer on Saturdays from 8 to 9. If you have time, please, uh, or if, if you make time and uh, join us in the meet uh, prayer time, pray uh, God's power will be on our church in our uh, individual lives that we can experience God. So uh, please join us in the prayer time. And not only reading the wor Word of God, but we need to be um, reciting it all the time. So we are uh, memorizing, we want to memorize especially Psalms. And this month we, uh, we would like to memorize Psalm 1. If you have any questions, uh, please contact us. Let's have time of offering. 
please use the box in the back. And uh, the offering is the fragrant offering, acceptable sacrifice, pleasing to God. So pray that God will sanctify and use it to, to spread the gospel. So let's pray for this offering. Hallelujah, our Heavenly Father. We are so thankful that you saved us through Jesus Christ. But most, not only that, you always give us everything we need each day. So with the gratitude to the salvation and your grace every day, we want to give our heart to you. We want to give you thanksgiving in our offering. May your glory be shown through our lives and through our offering, and your life will be preached. Please sanctify us and use us. And I pray for the blessing on each one of um, each one who give this offering. If they are lacking anything, please provide their needs. And may your gospel be preached to more people through this. Pray. Thank you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Today's uh, scripture reading is Luke chapter 9, verse 37 to 43. On the next day, when they came, came down from the mountain, a large crowd met him. And a man from the crowd shouted, saying, Teacher, I beg you to look up at my son because he is my only son. And the spirit seizes him and he suddenly screams and it throws him into a convulsion with, a, with foaming at the mouth. And only, only with difficulty does it leave him and mouthing him as it leaves. And I begged your disciples to cast it out and they could not. And Jesus answered and said, You unbelieving and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you and put up with you? Bring your son here. Now, while he was still approaching, the demon slammed him to the ground and threw him into a convulsion. But Jesus rebuked the unclean spirit and, and healed the boy and gave him back to his father. And they were all amazed at the greatness of God. But while everyone was astonished at all, at all that he was doing, he said to his disciples, Thank you very much. Let's pray one more time. Beloved Heavenly Father, your word has the power. And through this, through your word, I pray that you will strengthen us, renew us, uh, give us new strengths mentally, physically, and uh, spiritually. May your salvation be on us through this time. And for those who believe, will receive stronger faith. And if there's anyone who don't believe, I pray that they will, we ask for the, the faith in their heart. So as we come near you, pray you will remove the ob obstacles so we can only focus on you and we can receive your grace. We give you thanks and pray in Jesus' name. Amen.
What is the today's what is today's theme? No, do not doubt, but believe. As we believe in God's word without doubt, uh, God will perform miracle. There's a famous pastor in, in Korea, and and as the church grew bigger, and they wanted to build a new building. As they are building, um, they have many financial difficulties, and they came to the point they could not continue the building project. This is not the actual uh, church building we, I'm talking about, but I'm just show, this showing that how building was uh, uh, could not continue. So he was wondering if we come this far, but we don't know what to do. So we continue or not? And there were many people who were opposed to this building, and so the pastor was wondering what to do with this situation. The reality, they, the reality was there was nothing. There was nothing to solve this situation. So the pastor wanted to run away from this. But even if he ran away, that's not a solution. And there was nothing he could do, or they could do as a church. But if you are a believer, what can you do? We can pray. So he prayed. As he prayed, and he remembered the, prom the word of promise from God, and he started to believe God will help. But as the, he opened his eyes, he can see this reality in front of him. <coughs> So when he looked at the building, unfinished building, he wanted, he almost wanted to die, but he could not um, kill himself as a pastor, so he wished he would have an accident, or kill, be killed accidentally. But when we pray, but he, be, he came to the point, as we pray, God will help certainly help. So he kept praying, and what happened? And they ended up dedicating a wonderful building, uh, church building to God. So there are things in our lives that there's nothing we can do with our own strength. Uh, there's no solve solution, there's no way to solve, there's no hope, uh, we don't know what to do, we get sick, the problem with our work or financial problem, or, and what do we need to do when we face those situations? We need to pray, and we expect God's amazing work. That's what's important in our Christian lives. So we just started the new year, 2023, and many of us are facing many problems. We don't know what to do, but what do we, what do we need to do? Do not doubt, but believe, and expect God's work. Last week, we looked at the story of Jesus taking three disciples and climbed the mountain. And, and they saw the glory of Jesus Christ, the glory of the Creator, on the next day. So who are they? That's Jesus and Peter, John, and James. They came down from the mountain. A large crowd met him. And what happened at the, in the mountain? Jesus appeared um, to be transfigured with a shining brilliance, and his clothes was white, like white. And, and Jesus, uh, Peter said, um, "This is a great place, so let's build a tent." tabernacle for you so we can live there. 
this is a wonderful place. So, you know, let's not go down, let's just stay here. But as I said, uh, the tabernacle here is, is the word for the temple. Uh, it means temple. So he wanted to build uh, three temples for God. So it was an outrageous thought Peter had. Sometimes as we pray, and as we read the word of God, we, we, we receive hope and we want to be in that uh, wonderful hope, wonderful grace for all the time. But as we open our eyes and see the reality, we lose our hope and we lose our way, we lose the way. And when we gaze the, uh, the Creator God, Th those disciples who saw Jesus, the powerful Jesus, they came down to the mountain, came down, came down the mountain and met the crowd with many problems. And one of the men from the crowd shouted, Teacher, I beg you to look at my son. He's my only son. He is a precious son. His son is uh, possessed by a demon and when the demon comes the, the he starts screaming and in convulsion and they try to kill him when we um, we may have many problems but when we have a spiritual problem like this um, we cannot solve it with our own strength. So, this father sought help from Jesus. But Jesus was up on the mountain and he, they weren't here. They weren't with the, the people. So, they went to other disciples. How many other disciples were there? There were 12 of them and three of them were up on the mountain, so there were nine of them. So the, this father asked uh, those nine disciples for help to, to cast out the demon. Could they do it? No, they could not. And so today's story uh, episode we can read not only just in Luke but also Matthew and Mark as well. So as uh, Jesus Christ came down from the mountain, um, especially in the book of Mark, uh, describe this incident more in detail. In Mark chapter 9, in verse 14, um, as Jesus came back to the, the disciples, he found out the, the large crowd was around them and some scribes were arguing with the disciples. So when, while Jesus was up on the mountain, this uh, demon-possessed child, uh, they were they arguing about this uh, uh, demon-possessed child. So the nine disciples and the scribes and were surrounded by the crowd and they were deb debating, arguing what to do with this child. So when Jesus came down and the crowd saw him and they, were, they came to Jesus and Jesus went to them and asked them, what are you discussing, disputing with them? What are they dispute, are they arguing about? If we see somebody who uh, is possessed by a demon, uh, we will be discussing, uh, we will have a disagreement too, more pro probably. Um, the, the scribes were saying, 
your teacher say he's a messiah and he can cast out the demon. But where is he? The one who you believe, where is he? So the scribes are probably attacking the disciples. And, and if people, when people become sick, they will wonder, many people just question, why does this happen to me? In John chapter 9, there was a blind man, born blind, and when the disciples and people saw him, they started to question, who, why, or whose fault is it that he became blind? Is it his fault or the parents? Many people question what is the cause, who, who is to blame for? But Jesus' answer was that God's glory will be the purpose of his blindness is to show God's glory. So when we have problems, when we get sick, why does this happen to me? Did I do something wrong? And we search for the, the cause of it. But, but there are times that we don't have to discuss, debate, or dispute about this. We just need to know that God's glory, God's wonderful, how wonderful God is, and God's uh, help will be shown. So this will be turned into praise. So instead of thinking of the cause of the problem, but we need to expect uh, what God will do through these difficulties. And um, this is uh, the same argument happening uh, in the present time too. Many Christians become sick and people will a question, ask a question to them. Where is Jesus that you believe? Can he help you and solve this problem? And we, we will have doubt in our heart too. We believe in Jesus, but why does this happen to us? Where is God? Can he really believe? Uh, can, you, can he be really help me? We start, we may, some of us may doubt. But what we need, what, what, what do we need in a time like that? We need to believe without doubting that He will help us and keep praying. We face many problems. This world is not heaven. So we become older, our body, bodies become weaker, we get sick, we have a lot of stress and have uh, mental problems. And also when we sin, we have spiritual problems too. Uh, we are made of three parts. <laughs> it's not a face and head and body and legs. We are made of spirit, soul, and body. And spirit is, a sp is the part that we are connected to the spiritual world, the God who is, in sp who is a spirit. And the soul is a um, the intellectual part or emotion, our will, uh, are included in soul. And body is a physical world. Uh, body is connected to the physical world. So after we sin, when we have a spiritual problem, that will affect the, uh, the soul and the body as well. So, because all our pro because we sinned spiritually, every problem in this world is caused because of it. Uh, right. uh, 
So, so the sin is the root of all the problems, but, um, but some of the physical problems are not always directly related to a spiritual problem. For example, if you get if you have a cold, it's not because uh, your faith uh, is weak or because you don't have faith. Uh, that's not the reason of getting cold. So if you have a physical problem, you get the medicine. If you rest, you get healed. So it's not not all the problem, physical, mental problem, is not uh, um, related to the spiritual world. So, if you are full, if you eat the full stomach, what would happen? You get sleepy, you will be happy. But if you are hungry, uh, you might become uh, irritated or you may not be happy. Maybe you can skip a meal, but if you skip meals for a day, two or more, what would happen? You'll be anxious and unstable mentally. So in this case, the physical problem is related to mental problem too. And even if you are physically healthy, if you have Men, if you're under stress and have um, mental problems, you might have, you might end up having a blood pressure problem or um, other physical problem can be caused by the, the mental problems. So, uh, spirit, soul, body are somewhat related, connected. And some people claim that our problem, all our problems are caused by the evil spirits. But that's not right. That I don't agree with that because there are purely physical problems, purely mental problems. Not everything is related to evil spirit. But sometimes physical problem, mental problem can uh, is related to a uh, spiritual problem. Do you like coffee? Some people drink coffee, some people don't. So co we drink coffee when we want to, and if we can just enjoy uh, drinking coffee, that's good. But some people are addicted, so they cannot start the day without drinking coffee. Some people have to drink two, three cups of coffee every day. And what would happen if, if they... So eventually they to become totally addicted to caffeine. They cannot function uh, without caffeine. So they become anxious and, and uh, become weak. So when we stop doing something we enjoy, or if you, if you can control our will and do things, that's fine, but when we become addicted, we cannot uh, stop with our own will. There are many addictions in this world, gamble, alcohol, internet, or the drugs. There are many various kinds of addictions. And at, at first, they might be just enjoying it, but eventually they came to the point that they can uh, they could stop when they want to, but as they continue, they came to the point that they cannot stop it with their own will. That's addiction. And this addiction become, uh, become uh, like a chain, a shackle to us. But if you become a, a, a slave of coffee, that will be wrong. Some people are addicted to shopping. They don't have money, but they can't stop shopping. Because they don't have money, 
they might shoplift. And eventually that will be a habit and they cannot stop. And the internet can be a cause addiction too. And they, don't, they just keep playing with the smartphone without sleeping. So, um, some addictions can be uh, healed, like um, even some people ad addicted to drugs, they can be healed too. Um, so some people are just enjoying things at the beginning, but sometimes the evil spirit, a spiritual problem can happen from uh, what we enjoy too. At first you might be just enjoying, but eventually the uh, evil spirit will take over and, and we will not be able to stop. So, gamble, uh, uh, there is a spirit of gambling and alcohol, and, and there is a spirit that controls uh, our addiction of uh, smartphones, and once this spirit comes in, we cannot, uh, we cannot um, stop with uh, medicine or counselor because we are, uh, because the evil spirit has a power over us. So the disciples asked Jesus, why couldn't we drive the demon out? He said, this kind cannot come out by anything except prayer. So when we are possessed by demon, if it's a spiritual problem, there's nothing we can do, there's nothing we can do. So this kind, the addiction because of the evil spirit, cannot be solved by the counselor, uh, counseling or the medicine. Only prayer can bring solution with the, uh, with the power of the Sp Holy Spirit. So when this child who was possessed by the demon only uh, this the only only his spirit can be driven out by prayer. But the disciples were just discussing, they were just wondering what to do, why without praying. So in order not to, in order to be, to, uh, to avoid this kind of addiction, is uh, prayer is essential as well. In James, it said the desire, when it comes conceived, gives birth to sin, and sin, when it fully grown, brings forth death. So it comes from desire, and if you give chance to this desire the evil spirit can come in and take over. So before it happens, we need to stop. And if we continue, it will bring death. It means a physical death and spiritual death as well, but especially we are thinking of uh, what we can learn from this is that we um, we cannot stop it with our will. That means you are dead to uh, this temptation. So if it, when it happens, there's nothing we can do. In Genesis, um, uh, we can see how Eve was tempted. Um, it looked pl uh, pleasure to the eye and desirable for gaining wisdom. So she had desire first, and she took action, and, and she opened herself to the devil, and then sin came in, and all the problems started from there. So every problem, or every sickness, not every sickness is caused by uh, uh, a sin, 
But every problem in this world uh, happens because this world is filled with sin. So the father asked the disciples to cast out the demon. They could not. They were supposed to pray, but they were just discussing about it. And Jesus answered them and said, You unbelieving and perverse generation. Jesus gave disciples the authority to drive out the demons. And we can read this in, in the Gospels, how Jesus uh, sent out the disciples to proclaim the kingdom of God and perform healing. And in verse 1, it says he gave authority, power and authority over all the demons and the power to heal disease. So Jesus was rebuking the disciples. You could pray and ask for the power of the Spirit to drive out the, the demons. But why didn't you do that? Why didn't you pray? In thinking that you can solve with your own strength. And not only, Jesus wasn't rebuking just disciples. He was also speaking to the Father. So G Jesus asked the father, when, how long has he been like this? And the father said, from childhood, and he falling into the fire and water many times, and the demon tried to kill him. And he said, if you can do anything, take pity on us and help us. And the father is telling, asking, uh, telling Jesus, if you can, you may not be able to. So he was doubting. So he came to the right place. He came to Jesus. But he was not fully believing in him. So Jesus uh, responded, if you can, all things are possible for the one who believes. So the father shouted, cried out, and I do believe, help my unbelief. So as we pray, our faith become weak. We need to come to God and Jesus and ask for help. I believe, please give us faith. So what did Jesus do after this? You mute and deaf spirit, I command you, come out. Come out of him and do not enter him again. So this child was possessed by demon and could he had many um, and many of us uh, addicted and seized by the spirit, but only prayer can bring solution. <coughs> we need to believe and command in name Jesus' name. Come out of him and do not enter again. Some of you are maybe facing a problem and we need to pray the same. I command you, come out, go out. Any spirit that will um, take us away from God, come out. As we command with faith, yes, we have power. So, 
So Jesus rebuked the demon and this uh, child was healed and went back to the father. We, we must not doubt. We need to believe God can do anything. The Creator who created everything from nothing. We need to believe His almighty power and ask for the help. If your faith is weak, ask, for, ask God for a stronger faith. We need to pray and believe. Hallelujah. Our Heavenly Father, God, you are creator and the risen Savior Jesus Christ. Things we cannot do with our own strength, by the power of the Spirit, we can. The power of Jesus Christ that we can be saved. Give us faith, Lord, not focusing on the problem, but looking up the, the victorious, glorious God. We give you thanks and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, give us the faith, no matter what happens, that we can believe in the Creator, Help us, Savior, that we, can, that we can believe in Him, that we can experience the victory that You've given us, give us. May the love of the Father and the grace of Jesus Christ and the fellowship of the Spirit will be on each one of us who believe in Jesus and always seeking God's help from now and forever we ask for the blessing Amen so Let us walk with Jesus and meet again next week